Hey guys, welcome back to another video. So I am finally done with the optimizations to the chunk mass generator. Um, I just did a pretty ludicrous amount of work to it, honestly. Um, pretty, well, I'm really happy with it actually. Um, so let me just show you and that's going to take a second. There we go. Okay, well, yeah. <laughs> it's it's just instantaneous. <laughs> it's I'm I'm so happy with it. It's 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 incredible, honestly. So you can see how fast it loads. Uh, I'm on the max render distance right now. I need to tune it uh, because it actually is able to load too many meshes now. So you can see it just happens. <laughs> it just happens instantly. Uh, but I'm sure with a bit of tuning. I should have no problem with it. Uh, let's see. One thing I saw earlier that was kind of cool when I was midway through this. Uh, was I went on Clamorx server. And uh, it it loaded like crazy. It was It was so cool looking. Clam Jam. Oh, there we go. <clears throat> so you can see it just looks kind of like crazy. Also, I need to fix this glitch where you makes some of your inventory. Oh my goodness, everything's broken. <laughs> Like I fixed, I fixed that, and then I forgot to fix the other stuff. I'm not sure you should be able to do this on multiplayer. Uh, this is like your local clients, I'm guessing. Yeah, yeah, I still forgot to fix that. <laughs> oh, well, I guess uh, one thing at a time. And, uh, yes, uh, I just threw a null item, which means I crashed my own client. Because, uh, basically, if your, sir if your inventory is different than the server inventory, uh, and you try to throw an item, then all of a sudden a null item becomes uh, available or sent to your client, and your client's like, oops. Uh, I know how to work around that, I just haven't put any focus into it because I've been focusing on trying to make the um, chunk mesh generator a lot faster. Oh, also, the uh, server, uh, it syncs with your client, so you can see the time swooping, and I think the, I think at nighttime the sky looks so cool looking. Like, that just looks awesome. It reminds me of, like, October, so it's really cool looking. Also, this music by Dark uh, Reven. Very fitting for nighttime. I don't know, nighttime with the color of the sky and the way I balance the uh, the ground color 
uh, at least on my screen, it looks very, uh, it's like very Octoberish. Or it's got like a, like a Halloween feeling to it, and it feels pretty good. Uh, it's going to feel even more like Halloween when I start spawning mobs, which is coming very soon. Uh, this is actually what I'm getting prepared for with all these different things that I'm doing. Uh, just trying to make it so that not only can you have some fun, but you're not going to be waiting for the game to basically load and it handling like a piece of poop. So, um, let me go back to my local server. Oh. Uh, okay. It's night time, but the sky is... Alrighty. One second, one second. Let me just get back in the game. And I do apologize for basically having to full screen it every five seconds. Um, for some reason on Windows 10, uh, games do not run very good unless they're full screened anymore. I don't I don't know what they did to it. I uh, can't even play BeamNG in, like uh, in non-full screen mode. Otherwise, it, like, the physics just start lagging out for no reason. Mm. Let's break Windows 10 so people have to use Windows 11. You can see how it has that micro stutter. Uh, because there's too many meshes and it's, it's basically getting too greedy. Um, it's optimizing for data consumption versus throughput. Uh, which is a fine line to walk, but, you know, uh, I was basically walking it, trying to get as much throughput shoved through without realizing what the problems were. Uh, I'm going to show you guys what the problems were in a little while. I just want to keep walking around for a minute, because, honest, honestly, uh, this is the first time that I'm enjoying this, uh, just walking around, seeing everything loading properly. Um, I was, I just spent, spent like, uh, what time is it? 2.34? I'd spent like seven-ish hours working on this algorithm, so I'm really happy with how it came out. Uh, I might be able to extend the uh, render distance, too. Uh, we'll see about that. And I'm going to get my, uh, my signature yawn in the video, of course. That is also another thing I'm really happy about. Um, the TNT explosion is a lot less. There's a lot less latency, basically. Um, it it looks instantaneous. Really happy with it. Um, so, oh yeah, this is what I wanted to show you guys. So if I go to nine, or if I go past nine to three, then I go five, and then seven, and then nine. Um, those chunks aren't loaded in memory anymore. That's actually the single player loading them back from the disk. <laughs> um, and it's it's not only loading them out of the disk, it is regenerating the, um, the meshes. So I'm not even sure how this is this fast, but uh, I guess I'll show you guys what I did. But I'm actually having fun playing my own game now, which is probably it's a good and a bad thing. But mainly I can figure out what is fun and what's not, and uh, make it so everybody can have fun. So that'd be pretty cool. Definitely want to add boats in, because once, uh, once I finish up everything and I'm able to sync... Uh, Sync players better? Oh, excuse me. Once I'm able to sync players better, um, I actually have the interpol interpolation data already included now. Uh, so, I'll be able to uh, get that done. And so what I'm going to do with the boats is I'm going to make it so when you right-click them and get on it, um, it's, it's in your client. Basically, like, you control the entity, and then you send your position, and that moves the entity with you. Uh, 
so it's like uh, in Minecraft where you have those hacks that I see um, Fit MC using all the time. Like, what is it like the boat hack where you can fly around in a boat? Like people could do that left and right easily. I mean, you could fly around regularly. There's no, there's no anti cheat in this, but there's also no cheats yet because there's no game. <laughs> um, I'm cheating right now. I have a full inventory. Ta da! I'm going to implement some kind of anti-cheat eventually. I'll have a a settings argument if you want to enable it up. Maybe you have like a super low-end server. You're like, oh, I just want to play. I want to put this on my Raspberry Pi, but it's not very good. All of a sudden, bam, 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 you have no anti-cheat. And then all of a sudden, the server runs even better. Um... So that's enough walking around, I guess. As I continue to walk around. Well, let's go back into the code. This is the part where everyone leaves. I don't want to see the code. We're looking at the code. <laughs> um, <laughs> I don't know what that was, but uh, there was a problem. I don't even know where to start with this. Um, the first problem, um, this algorithm was extremely complex, like way, way too complex. It was literally this whole file was the algorithm. So I broke everything off into different like calculations. Um, Basically, I was getting a warning where it said this algorithm or this method is too complex. And I'm like, oh my god, it's this high is not very good. Oh my god. Uh, and then I did some research, and that means that, no, uh, if it's too complex, the JVM can't optimize it. And I'm like, wow, I'm pretty, I'm a pretty stupid person, right? Uh, but that's just like a that's like a noob mistake right there. Like, ignore the IDE warning. Um, let's see. Um, yeah, basically, everything is optimized as can be. I'm just going to look over at the files. Okay, I pushed everything. Um, I do need to... I have these huge gaps from when I was implementing this, so... I just need to remove these gaps because on the file it's going to look ridiculous. I mean on GitHub it's going to look uh, kind of ridiculous. Like why is there like 50 lines of blank space? Um, this looks fairly adequate. But we still need to remove some more. And I bet there's even more. Yep, there is even more. Is there even more? And yes, there's actually even more. Holy bow. Okay, let me just make sure this is nothing but blank space. Yep, that looks about right. Very nice. Um, I think the file also shrunk in size slightly. It was over 2,000. Um, let me... I'm going to quadruple check this before I post this. Remove blank space from chunk mesh generator. Magical. Okay, so um, one of the things was that was too complicated. And then I was using the wrong data type. Uh, basically, it was a combination of those two things. Um, I made a custom container. Yeah, it literally says on the top, uh, this is a custom t container uh, specifically created to reduce lookups. Um, pretty proud of it, actually. Uh, I optimized the growth rate uh, basically to balance the amount of growths and the amount of um, cash misses that would happen. 
uh, but I try to keep it pretty conservative and adequate at the same time. Um, if I go into the interray, you'll notice that there's only one pack. Uh, that's because these this container type is literally specifically designed for one use, and that's it. It is literally hyper optimized for that, and it's pretty it's pretty cool. I like it. Um, also, I wasn't using. Uh, let me just make sure I'm not cap yeah, not here. All right, uh, I wasn't using um, the advanced or enhanced uh, switch statement for the made method. I'm trying so hard not to yawn. Um, so with that super condensed container uh, I'm able to do like super instantaneous stuff with it so like the container um, keeps a pack size of it so instead of it doing like a account like oh how long is this blah 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 it doesn't even do a count of that it already has that accounted into the container like uh, right here its current position so when it does get size it literally just returns its current position and so that way that's that's another like uh, another way to avoid lookups through the memory so it's a primitive lookup well, that's about it um, I basically spent the entire day doing immense hyper optimizations and and see by frame rate look at this watch ready wow i can't believe it's not butter amazing wow i went from 70 fps to 300 it's it's magic oh my god yeah i don't know what they did to windows 10 but like god uh, for some reason games just run really not okay. Unless they're in full screen mode. I just, I don't understand it. Don't get it. I think my favorite part about this algorithm is how the, uh, it, it still runs at the same speed even with the uh, Java VM not warmed up. So it's pretty cool. So this is uh, render distance five, and it just happens like instantly. Oh yeah, there is one thing. I'm not sure how I'm going to tackle liquid flow. Um, I know how I'm going to make it look. Like I know how to make it look. I'm not sure how I'm going to make it um, like make it flow basically. Like uh, basically cellular automata. Um, kind of like the game of life basically. I don't know how I'm going to do that without an overriding or over whatever. Also, the dark spots came back. Um, still trying to debug that. But you can see it instantly goes away, which is pretty cool. Um, I think I actually know where this is coming from because I thought it was just actual like uh like chunks not loading properly, but the way this is looking, I think I know what's happening, and it's because I was kind of lazy and basically desperate to make this work better, and so that's that's probably what happened with that. Ah, uh, you'll probably see that fixed in the next video. I hope. <laughs> But anyways, 
That's basically it. Um, on top of that, I made the chunk. Um, like the actual map, like the group of chunks, um, return as a different type into the rendering engine. So it's very slightly faster. You can see that throughput stutter is optimized for memory, or not memory consumption, but data consumption instead of throughput. I'm going to have to tweak this endlessly. Um, so I'll see you in the next video. I'm going to turn this video off and take a nap because I think I fried my brain. So see you guys in the next one and have a good one.